Defending the corner is the most difficult part of Palo. We will show you that it's very easy to learn if you follow these steps. Become a better paddle defender right now. Vamos! <laughs> Welcome everybody. Today we are in Noordwijk with Miguel Verhagen and myself, Sven Boele. And we're going to start right now. Vamos! Vamos! The most important thing is the positioning. If you're not in the right position, this method is not going to work. You need to be very aware where you are on the court. One of the two references that we're going to use are the walls. We're going to give all the walls a number and all the numbers have a different approach on how we're going to use the wall. One of the most common mistakes when you're defending the first wall is that you run towards the ball. If the ball bounces against the first wall, the ball will come to you. So wait for the ball. Well, now there is less angle because instead of cross courts, the ball is coming straight. So now the ball has to get closer uh, to the side wall. Okay, now we're going to, to defend the second wall. The position is very important. So Miguel is in this position when I am here. So when I'm here, Miguel is there. If I change my position, Miguel changes a little bit with me. So you see how he turns his body in order to have a good defense. If I am here and he moves too far to the middle, then he doesn't know where the ball is going to bounce. The tubes, are a reference where the right foot should be. So the, the tubes, the direction of the tubes will change where, your, uh, where the opponent is. So if I am more to that side, the tubes will change slightly there. If I'm more straight, the tubes will be there. So if you don't use the tube method, the right foot method, it is very hard to read where the ball is going. The ball will slow down because the ball will hit two walls. So Miguel has to go really close to the back wall. So if I throw the ball, he has to be really close to the back wall to defend. So when do you turn and when do you step away? Well, there are some pros and some cons. Number one is personal preference. Some players find it easy to turn and some players don't. So you have to find out what is your personal preference. Um, you are already in the right position after you turned. Number three is that your opponent cannot see what you are doing because you are turning around. Number four is if the ball doesn't bounce the way you think it will bounce, it is easier to solve. If the ball's coming and you are turning and the ball comes the other way around, I can play it here. And if it goes there, I turn and I have it there. If I step away from the ball and the ball comes here, I never get it.
So one of the cons is that you don't know what's happening because you're disorientated. You're facing the back wall. So now I don't know what happens on the other side of the court. One of the pros of not turning to step away is that you can look to the other side of the court what happens. The second one is that you uh, play your favorite shot. So maybe when you play in the forehand, it is your forehand. Maybe on the backhand, it's your backhand. If the ball goes to the second wall, but I'm playing the ball from here, then you don't turn because the ball will be very close to the side wall. Vamos. If I am more cross courts, then you're more likely to turn. This will happen a lot of times with the overhead. He can never get that ball if he goes the normal step away thing. Vamos, vamos. Wall number three. So, now the ball is going to bounce. Here. We're going to practice the following. The ball comes exactly towards your body. I normally call this the Matrix ball. I don't know if you know the scene of Matrix when he's like <gasps> dodging the bullet. This is exactly the same. Because if you step away from the ball, you're not going to hit the ball. So try to stay in the same position. Let the ball bounce between your feet or remove your right foot and then the ball will come to you. Vamos! So you can decide if the ball goes through your uh, legs or that you lift up one foot. So it's like the, the matrix ball or the peeing dog. <laughs> We're going to practice the turn. This is a situation where you always turn. So if I play the ball to his left foot, he always turns. It really depends on the angle. If I play the ball straight, he would never turn. If I play cross courts and a little bit next to Miguel's left foot, he would do this. 
If I play exactly on his left foot, he will do this. If the ball is going to do the second bounce against the side wall, then you can never play a backhand from here. So then you will always turn. One of the most common mistakes is that you don't turn and you play a backhand from this position. So if you turn, you are in the right position earlier. If you play that backhand, you have to travel more distance and more distance back to your basic position. The slower the ball, the closer to the wall. So if I play slow balls, Miguel has to uh, step back if I play super fast, he can stay at the same position. That's why you have to really think of how fast you're going to play. Okay, a very slow ball, so he has to turn and step back. Now I play a faster ball and that is easier for him. So if I play faster, it is easier. So think of how fast you're going to play. So you have to change the speed of the ball in order to really force your opponent into making a mistake. You follow the ball with your body. You turn when the ball is next to you. You don't turn when the ball is not there yet. So turn your body when the ball is next to you. And follow the ball with your body. So you see, if he turns late or early, He's moving way faster. So the only way to, to move slowly is to do it exactly when the ball is next to you. So remain calm and wait for the right moment. One of the most common mistakes is that you don't turn at all and you still play a backhand. It's supposed to be wrong, Miguel. <laughs> yeah, that was too good. But Okay, so now we're going to do this in the exact order. So the first wall, the second wall, the matrix ball, and the turn. I'm going to play exactly the same ball from one to four. And Miguel has to solve every ball with the wall. Vamos! One. So the next step will be that you play exactly random. Thank you everybody for watching, I hope you liked this video. Thank you for sticking to the end of the video, you are a true hero, you're going to win all of your matches. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you didn't do that already, because then you know when we have a next video upcoming, but maybe 
maybe we upload another video uh, not on a Monday. So you never know. Okay, thank you Miguel for this video, the defending master, and I hope to see you next Monday. Hasta luego, ciao, adios. Ciao amigos.